What is up everybody and welcome to Everything's Plastic. Today we're going to be taking a look at a G.I. Joe Classified series and this is the awesome shipwreck. Alright, we can see on the side here this is actually number 70 in the series. Uh, we have its symbols on the side here which represent uh, whatever this guy specializes in. If you want to scan this with your phone it actually brings you to the Hasbro website. We have an awesome image or picture of shipwreck on the side here. I love it man, awesome artwork. Jojo classified series on top, article and all that good stuff on the bottom. And on the back here we have a picture of the actual figure, all of his accessories, just a close up here and obviously another close up here with Polly on his hand. This figure is 6.3 inches or 860 millimeters. Obviously we love our window packaging so we at least know what kind of figure we're buying. But as far as windowless packages goes, this one's actually pretty nice looking. Alright guys, we'll be right back with Shipwreck outside of the package to get a closer look. Alright everybody, we are back and we have Shipwreck outside of the package. Uh, just to start off, I gotta show you guys this awesome image on the inside here. I love it man, I think it's crazy looking. In a good way though. Pretty cool. That's the same image that we see here on the front, but either way, still cool. Uh, it also comes with this little uh, foot locker, weapons storage locker, whatever you want to call it. It's got shipwreck there, number 70 in the series. Uh, I'm actually a big fan of this, so I think that's uh, that's pretty great. Give Hasbro credit when you do something right. <laughs> All right, first for accessories, we have this hair piece, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, just in case you want to switch it out, take his hat off and just display him without his hat on. Next on the list for accessories, we have this revolver musket type deal. Uh, pretty cool paint application on this one's pretty decent. Uh, there is a bit of my camera to focus. There's a bit of detail sculpted into this. I think uh, overall they did pretty good. And we can see the little line or rope on the bottom here. Pretty cool. And then we have this anchor grappling hook, whatever you want to call it. Uh, pretty cool. Just uh, pretty plain, straightforward, but does the job. Give them credit. Pretty cool accessory. And we have a pistol as well. We can see some detail engraved into this one. Not a bad looking pistol. Pretty cool design overall. And we have this rope. We can see the detail in the rope as well. Uh, a little knot on top. And there's a little hole on top that Polly just kind of ports into. If you can see in the background here, he has the rope kind of wrapped around him. And he has Polly on his wrist. But you also have the option of putting Polly on the shoulder as well. Alright guys, last four accessories is Polly. Pretty cool detail in this one, pretty cool sculpt. I loved uh, paintwork. Cool detail in the eyes if my camera focuses. Yeah, not a bad accessory man, I think they did a good job with this one. Alright, let's get down to Shipwreck. Pretty cool face sculpt on this one. There's a bit of white over paint from his hat, uh, smudged onto his hair. Still pretty cool though. Uh, the eyebrows and all that stuff, facial hair is uh, pretty solid actually uh, not a bad face sculpt man i've seen some pictures and i didn't think i was a fan of it but seeing this one in hand it actually looks a lot better than i thought the paint application is tattoos and everything else are painted nice and clean gray or bluish shade to uh, tattoo to a shark which is pretty cool and we have the same design here and we have another anchor type tattoo on this side so we have a belt on his jeans or his pants and the belt buckle itself is actually painted, which is pretty cool. And we have this extra belt going around here as well. So there is a holster here for his revolver. There's a little hook here so you put the anchor on. And other neck guys, not much else to see with this one. We have a separate holster on his leg which moves around two separate pieces. We do have some weathering, some wear on his pants there as well. There's a bit of detail in his pants. We have some wrinkles and all that good stuff too. So, And we get down to his boots or shoes, whatever you want to call it, and we have a bit of detail on those as well. Not too bad guys. Overall this one's a nice looking figure. I have to admit, I always like Shipwreck. I don't know what it is about the character, but I always kind of gravitated towards him just a little bit. A pretty cool character man, just a badass character overall. Alright, before we pop on all of his accessories, let's quickly go over articulation. So for his head goes back this far, down this far, we have some side to side, all the way around. His neck is articulated as well, so that goes back and forth, side to side. And you can get a full rotation if you really wanted to. Uh, for his arms, his shoulders do go up this far. We do have a butterfly joint there. There's a full rotation at the base. We have a bicep swivel. And we have double jointed 
Himless elbows, which are fantastic. The only gripe about this one so far is the big gap here. This joint scares me. <laughs> this side's pretty good. This side here is very loose. Uh, there's a big gap into it, and we can see that the paint application on that is not, not the best. It just feels like it's going to break, so I'm very nervous about that. Uh, hopefully it doesn't, <laughs> but yeah, nervous with this side. Hopefully you guys have better luck. And both ends actually go up and down for articulation and all the way around. We do have this ab crunch here, which goes back this far, forward this far, so pretty awesome range of motion there. And we have this ball joint on the bottom here, which you get a full rotation if you want, side to side this far, back, forth. So total articulation, this guy goes all the way back using two joints and all the way down. So pretty awesome range of motion. We have a full split for his leg articulation. Obviously, if you guys are unfamiliar, we have this drop down joint here, which is fantastic. We do have a upper thigh cut, double jointed pinless knees as well. You get a pretty decent range of motion out of that. There is no boot cut, but up and under his pants, there is actually a little swivel there. Doesn't go all the way around. Actually, if you really want to force on it, you can go all the way around, but I don't really like forcing against this hard plastic here. Other than that though, you have your standard rocker, which goes back this far, forward this far, and you can get a full rotation out of the rocker joint as well. But like I previously mentioned, this plastic on the bottom here is kind of hard, so you're kind of fighting against the plastic, but it is possible if you really, really want it. All our neck guys, that pretty much wraps up articulation. Pretty awesome articulation, a little bit limited in certain areas, but not restricted in any of the areas that really bother me. I'm pretty sure that this one can do whatever you need it to do. All right, guys, let's pop on some accessories. Actually, before I pop on accessories, this extra hair piece, just so I don't forget. Uh, not a bad sculpt to the hair. Obviously, I do prefer him with his hat on, but, you know, gives you options, which can't really knock any company that gives you options. So, all right, so we'll put his revolver here. This pistol here. I am going to. Whoa! Put that on here. Kind of have the hook on back here. Pop his hair back on. Pop that hook down here. Or his anchor, whatever you want to call it. So like I previously mentioned, we can pour poly up here on his shoulder, it actually ports into the rope, ports in pretty good. So yeah, and the other option for poly is down here onto his wrist. And she ports in here nicely as well. So totally up to you guys, whatever way you wanna display this one. Either way, I'm sure both are gonna look pretty awesome. But for me, uh, I prefer up here on the shoulder. Yeah. Definitely going to display it on the shoulder. Awesome. All right, guys, just to do a few quick comparisons to some of the other G.I. Joe classified figures, we'll keep it nice and quick. We have Sergeant Slaughter, which is on the bigger side for a G.I. Joe classified figure, and we have Outback, pretty much the average size that we have seen for these classified figures. So we can see that Shipwreck is on par and pretty average for the G.I. Joe classified series. And just to do one more comparison, here we have him next to the original shipwreck. This guy has seen better days though. <laughs> a lot of paint's worn off this one and it's not complete. I don't have poly and I don't have a lot of his other accessories. So we see his holster on the side like he has here. If you are a hardcore vintage G.I. Joe collector, they kind of stuck to the original design and uh, I think they did a great job. Let me know in the comments below if you are pleased with this release of shipwreck. And one other thing guys, when I was kind of just tidying up after I finished the review, I uh, remember this stuff that's actually keeping your G.I. Joes into place. I mean, if you really, really want it, obviously it comes with a plastic rope, but if you really, really want it to, uh, you know, have something that kind of resembles rope, this stuff is actually pretty good and you can actually loop it around here too and kind of make like your own little rope out of it, you know what I mean? So I just thought it was pretty cool. You can actually spin it around too and kind of take two separate pieces and twist it around and it actually stays together, which is pretty cool. So it gives you a nice, thick, rope-looking appearance. 
All right, everybody, that pretty much wraps up our unboxing and figure review for the G.I. Joe Classified Series Shipwreck. Overall, I'm going to give this guy a solid 9.5 out of 10. The only real issue is being slate overpaint, which is really not that big of a deal. And this arm joint here uh, is bicep swivel. It's kind of loose, uh, but I was very worried that it was going to pop out of place. But I'm after playing around with it enough. Uh, I think I'm safe. I don't want to jinx myself. <laughs> Uh, I think Hasbro is actually killing it with their G.I. Joe line, and this is no exception, man. This one is fantastic. Wish they would carry this forward and put as much effort into their Marvel Legends and into their Black Series as well. The only other gripe uh, is this awful chest here. Man, I am not a fan of that chest here. Just looks really weird. Looks really awkward. It's painted here, but we don't see it on the box itself. So, like I said, all small gripes with this one, guys. Nothing major. I'm sure that if you guys pick this one up, you're going to love it, especially if you're a fan of Shipwreck or a fan of G.I. Joe. As always, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of this review. What do you think of our score of 9.5 out of 10? And what do you think of this action figure? If you liked our review, please hit that like button. That subscribe button is there as well. As always, my friends, we hope you enjoyed this review, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Keep collecting. Stay safe. Go buy some toys. <laughs> this is Shipwreck, and he saved our necks, Lady J. I'd rather save yours. Thanks, but we've got a world to save first. Yeah!